So I want to show you guys how I got my skin from this to this. So stay tuned. One of the products that I used like religiously was this turmeric lightning, natural lightning bar soap. It's an all natural soap and it has turmeric, it has um, natural oils like coconut oil, olive oil, palm oil. I get this straight from... I get it straight from my beauty supply store and it's pretty cheap. I think it's like $8. So I would use, I don't use that soap as often as I did before, but that really like helped me on my journey. I'm really serious with my um, chemical exfoliating toners. So the one that I still religiously use is the Ordinary Glycolic Acid. I feel like everyone talks about it, but it's actually so good. I feel like... If I go for a few days without using this, I see a huge difference. Like, I see a huge difference and it's like, my skin is begging me to use it again. So, it's so good. It it's, uh, gently exfoliates your face. Um, I use it at night. Um, and uh, as a result, it really helps to clear up any... Um, scarring that you have hyperpigment another thing that really helped me on my journey is getting regular facials okay so there was two different types of facials that i would get i would get an extraction facials like so the extraction facial was so helpful in taking out my blackheads so it really got in there and I had a lot of blackheads. So I would say I would do the extractions about maybe once every two months. Laser hair removal on my face. So the laser really helps, first of all, get rid of the hair. So preventing ingrown hairs that can cause acne or that can cause like irritation on the skin. That's what I did for a certain period of time. I no longer do it right now. I took a pause on it, but back then when I was having a lot of skin issues, that was one of the things that I started in my regimen. And I think it really did help, especially I had a lot of darkness under like my area around my mouth area. And, um, you know, the laser hair removal, obviously it removed the hairs, uh, from the root and also, um, help the skin kind of regenerate back itself. Okay. Um, moisturizers. So one of my go-to moisturizers that I still use to this day, I swap in and out with other things, but um if I want like more of a light moisturizer is the Ordinary's um what is this? Their natural moisturizing factors with HA. This was just, you know, it was it's just a staple. Like it's literally just a staple. It's very simple moisturizer um with cleaning clean ingredients um it has i believe it has hyaluronic acid so that keeps my skin moisturized like i said i have some i have dry skin um so when i just want like a, a good moisturizer i just like reach for that one um a thing that i feel like also helped on my journey was wearing sunscreen regularly so i never used to wear sunscreen like i was the worst at it like I never used to wear sunscreen um but my esthetician told me like no you have to wear sunscreen especially if you're doing the laser hair removal um so one of the sunscreens that like I've still used this is like the same one that I bought like back then and I still have it because I only use a small uh bit of it um every day it's um the Vichy it's a little bit expensive um because of the brand but like it works and it's black girl friendly um no white cast and it's 60 spf so you can't 